What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, your predictions king. And today I am bringing you my WWE Fastlane 2019 predictions video. So, I was originally going to be doing this video with Zach. We did do it over FaceTime. However, unfortunately the audio did not pick up and Zach is now busy. So I can't use him. However, I have wrote down what his predictions are so that I can tell you guys. Because Zach will be reacting to the Fast Lane pay-per-view with me this Sunday. So, let's go right into the predictions. So the first match on the show, guys, is actually on the kickoff show. But it's probably the best kickoff show match WWE will ever put on. And it's between Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Zach has gone with Andrade. I am also going with Andrade. However... I don't like... So here's the thing. WWE can bring in old wrestlers to put over new talent. But if putting over the new talent isn't going to go anywhere, don't do the match. And don't waste the talent. So what I mean by this is all well and good that Rey Mysterio will be putting Andrade over. And he has been putting Andrade over. That's fantastic. And the other one I can think of is Jeff Hardy has been putting a lot of people over. However, they've been putting people over so much... And losing to them so much, it now makes it predictable that they're going to lose, which I'm not a fan of. And honestly, you can either go either way, because some people are going to be saying, look, they're legends, um, they need to be putting over new talent 24-7. Others are going to say, look, they're legends, they still deserve a win, which is what I am thinking. However, for this match, I am going with Andrade. So the next match is a triple threat tag team match for the Raw Tag Team Championships between Scott Dawson and Dash Wilder, The Revival, Alistair Black and Ricochet, and Bobby Roode, and Chad Gable. So, for this one, Zach, which is very interesting, has gone with Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Uh, he doesn't see Alistair Black and Ricochet winning, but he also doesn't see The Revival retaining. So, he went with Rude and Gable. Now, I completely disagree with this, um, respectfully. And I believe that the Revival are retaining, straight up. Uh, whether it be via shenanigans or whatnot, the Revival can't lose the championship yet. Because if they do, they're not going to be very happy bunnies, are they? And um, I think they've been going on and on and on about how much they deserve the Royal Tag Team Championship, which they do. They are an incredible tag team. And they need to have their time with it. I mean, if AOP can hold it for a few months, so can The Revival. So the next match is another tag team match. There's three tag team matches on this card. The Boss and Hug Connection, which is a terrible name, so I'm hereby referring to them as Sasha Banks and Bailey, versus Tamina and Nia Jax for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. P.S. Sasha and Bailey are winning. There's no way that they are putting the belts on Nia Jax and Tamina. Because one, the rumoured match at WrestleMania, which I do hope goes ahead, because there is a lot of rumoured matches that are meant to be going ahead at WrestleMania, but have had zero build so far, with only um, about four weeks left. But the rumoured match is actually Sasha and Bailey versus Trish and Lita, which I will be a huge fan of, and I know that Sasha and Bailey would absolutely love to compete in, which means if the, if the wrestlers are going to love to compete in the match, the fans are going to love the match, because they're wholeheartedly pouring their heart and soul into doing that match. Zach has also gone with Sasha Banks and Bailey, so Nia Jax and Tamina, you got no chance, mate, but if you do, shit. So the next match is the third and final tag team match on the card. Mook Miz, Shane McMahon and The Miz versus The Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Zach has actually gone with Mook Miz, which I'm calling them. And I thought this is very interesting, you know, because Shane is obviously going to have a match at WrestleMania. That's a given. Um, but you can look at it one of two ways. Either, I think if The Usos retain, there isn't anyone credible enough to actually go against them in the SmackDown Live Tag Team division. But... Zach has once again gone with McMiz. Um, I believe that they are going to go with the Usos and they're going to do a little program between the Miz and Shane McMahon. But at the same time, WWE are probably thinking to themselves, shit, uh, we have actually prepared a lot of matches for this show. Still need to prepare some. Maybe we shouldn't pull the trigger on the hill turn yet and go with uh, Shane McMahon and the Miz to win and have an actual match at Mania um, against... The bar or something. In a ladder match maybe. I don't know. Something cool like that. But we're yet to see. Even the Hardy Boys could be involved at this point. 
because that's what I would ideally want to see, the Usos versus the Hardys at WrestleMania. Book it, Vince. So the next one is the SmackDown Women's Championship match, and who is it? The Great One said it perfectly. Uh, the SmackDown Women's Championship has really been devalued uh, over the recent months. It's just like having two wrestlers on SmackDown deciding to go for the Raw Women's Championship. It's the same as if AJ Styles, and I'm quoting the great one here because this was a, an amazing analogy. So AJ Styles and Randy Orton, both SmackDown wrestlers, both meant to be challenging for the WWE Championship, decide, you know what? Screw the WWE Championship. I'm not actually going to drop it. Screw the WWE Championship. We want to go for the Universal Championship. That is exactly what is happening right now with the whole Charlotte Flair Becky Lynch situation. So, Asuka has been left in a very sticky situation. Now, Zach has predicted Asuka to win, and I'm going to as well. But I'm doing that on the fact that I don't believe there's going to be a SmackDown Women's Championship match at WrestleMania, and if there is, it's going to be on the kickoff show. And, like, there's no good build at the moment. However, if Mandy Rose wins, I believe that Mandy will win, Sonya will turn, because arguably Sonya Deville is the better wrestler between them, even though they are both coming on leaps and bounds, uh, even besides that scare that happened uh, to Asuka when Mandy dropped her on her head, that's just wrestling, you know, stuff like that happens. Asuka tucked her chin when she didn't need to, so calm down, stop blaming Mandy, yeah, it was an accident. Um, but... Yeah, I feel like a good little program would be Mandy Rose versus Sonya Deville at WrestleMania, maybe, um, as not the show opener, but to go on second, like the SmackDown Women's title match did last year, uh, go on second and, you know, have a good little feud and Sonya Deville can win, because I'd quite like to see that, I can't lie, but anyway, moving on. So we have got the reunited Shield taking on Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre and Bobby Bobbington, Bobolo Lashley. Um, and honestly, the Shield are going to win. I mean, it's their reunion. Dean's still leaving. We don't know if it's a work or not. It's really fucking with my head because I honestly have no clue whether it's legitimate or if it's a work. If it is legitimate, they've never done this before, so why are they starting it now? But if it is a work, then I can totally see it coming from a mile away. Um, but I can't say that because I'm still confused about it. Anyway, I don't know. It's weird, but the Shield are picking up the W. Next up, we have probably the most predictable match on the card, which is Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. If Becky Lynch wins, she is inserted into the Raw Women's Championship match at WrestleMania against Ronda Rousey um, and Charlotte Flair, obviously. But, you know, let's just put the Royal Rumble winner in a match to defend her spot because that's how it works, isn't it? And, you know, it's... This match was probably my second most look forward to at WrestleMania. Um, and at the moment, I'm just not... I, I think at the time, like, on the go-home show, well, really, it will settle in again. Oh, my God, it's going to be a good match, because it is going to be a good match. But at the moment, the build to it has been... I love Becky, don't get, like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Becky, but I hate Becky fans. They WWE can't do anything right in the eyes of Becky fans, and it's ridiculous. Um, so they're booking her super, 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 super strong. She gets beat up by Ronda, who is a legitimate UFC fighter, former UFC champion. And the fans go, oh my God, she got buried by Ronda Rousey. Grow the fuck up, please. So that's happened. But Becky's obviously going to win because she's going to be in that triple threat match. So I don't really want to talk about this subject any longer. Let's get on to the main event. Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens. Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens. Hmm, you know what I'm thinking here? This was the rumoured match for WrestleMania. And it was Kofi versus Bryan at Fastlane. What if they've done a little switcheroo here and we're going to get Kofi versus Bryan at WrestleMania? But what if? Wrestling Days gave me this idea as well. What if they do a multi-man match at WrestleMania? We've just had the return of Mustafa Ali. Um, AJ Styles and Randy Orton are sort of doing their own little thing. But I don't believe they're going to get a single spot at Mania, so throw them in the title match. It could literally be Daniel Bryan, Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, Mustafa Ali, Randy Orton and AJ Styles. A nice little six-man match right there. Multi-man match going on. And it can at WrestleMania can end with your boy Kofi Kingston holding up this championship. Because, you know, um, screw the vegan belt. I mean, I'm, I love it. I'll let you in on a little secret. I might be making it. But, you know, 
uh, this is the championship. I believe that Kofi should be like, oh yeah, I've won the belt. No, 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 go in the back and get me my belt. And then they'll bring out this one and Kofi will be like, yay. And they'll be like, SOS, and it'll be really cool. But that's my predictions for Fastlane, ladies and gentlemen. Zach has also picked Daniel Bryan to win and he also picked Becky Lynch to win. That was my fast lane predictions, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on Sunday. Goodbye.